live on the gram, live on the Twitter feed. People are making all sorts of crazy decisions. Buying records, hand over fist. If anyone from Secretly Canadian or our management team wants to write to us and tell me and Alex exactly what the figures are at, I'm feeling good about it. The sun is now up in the Rockaways. It is a shitty, windy day. Perfect conditions for making sales. All right. Jemima here. Good morning. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there you are. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I've been on here for three hours. No shit. Mm. Well, three that hours. Yeah. You smell terrible, man. You gotta put some deodorant on. I'm gonna get you some. I'm gonna get you some. I had to say something. I wouldn't. You know, I don't call you out that shit lightly. Yeah, it's really gonna go to bed now. Don't know. It's too close to the end. It's in sight. Don't know. Thanks. What? What could have also happened is, you could have just handed me that. I know. How did you sleep? I guess. Um, I know, I was, I was asleep for about, I guess, an hour and 90 minutes. It was nice. It was a nice, yeah. it was a nice rest. It was required, yeah. I was, I was, it was like in psychedelic. It was? Yeah. How are you feeling? Tell me. How's it been going? <sighs> it's been going good. I mean, we, we are like... So you're past 500. We're past 500. Um, it's like... It, we've sold... We've sold... Do you know where we're at? Where the last update I got was 545. That was about an hour ago. We're going great. I feel like we're nearing six. We're waiting for word for word from a secretly Canadian. If anyone's out there who knows a figure, write to us. We need the info. How can I help? I want us to help some more. What can I do? <sighs> Twitter. Use that giant Twitter reach of yours. I, no one looks at my Twitter. I only I have a lot of followers, but no one actually looks at it. I don't think. Okay. Because I get like I get like one to twenty likes on on any post. No, it's only when it's like. It's only when no. it's when it's not when it's not like people on Twitter. When you start promoting something, they instantly, they instantly get turned off. <laughs> like that's just anyone. I don't like it. Why? Because they would rather an observation. It's that's the, the platform is much more successful when you're like making an observation about something. So do you want me to? So I need to make an observation when I'm promoting something. I mean, that's the art. Oh fuck! I I'm know it's, it, it requires I'm effort. Doing it wrong. Yeah, it requires. You're, you're not doing it wrong. I actually, I just don't, I just don't know if your fan, if your, if your Twitter following is gonna respond to. To me, needing to sell records. Unless I give them something in return. It's something personal, yeah. Yeah, it's something really personal. Twitter is desperate. Desperate. You've got to interact with them. Yeah. Someone says I have to interact with people. Yeah. Okay. Like a te like as if it's texting. Then I get more likes. That's true, Stormy. Storming. <laughs> oh my goodness, Storming Americans here. Who's Storming American? Storming Americans been here since the beginning of the of the stream. So if you, uh, okay, I'm learning how to do. Okay, so if I put in like a hot selfie or whatever, then they get more likes and then they listen to me. Screenshot yeah. this. Tell them what's going on over at the ground. That's oh, a good shit, image. Yeah. 
Oh, We're savvy. Don't worry about us. Get both of us in there. Get into that action. Hold on. Oh. Now it's open. by ourselves we're having to drink water for ourselves and make our own coffee and do all that yeah. sort of crap what does it smell like in there smells good smells like uh like smells like a lovely uh deodorant we've given ourselves each a once over with the asop smelling great nice. um well you gotta take five right i'll, I'll have a list oh you good yeah Knock yourself out. Uh, all right, guys. It's 7.46 a.m. We've got four hours, 14 minutes left of sound records. The Alcamathon is approaching the final straight. <laughs> How do I take a selfie with this thing? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Just try again. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good motherfucking morning to the internet. Good morning. Out, yeah. Out camp <laughs> Wait, what are you doing Wait, up so damn early? What? You are. What are you doing up so damn early? I've been up since like five. Because I just, I opened my eyes and I was like, okay, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I pressed the thing and um, I couldn't believe you were still there. And as I pressed it, it was like, well, I thought it was, I got it. I got to get, I got to take five minutes. Like an hour and a half. <laughs> no shit. You heard the 90 minutes. I remember saying 90 minutes. Oh, I'm going to turn off the bit and then come back. All right, all right. Give me, give me five on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've sold somewhere in the range of 600 albums. Roy Malloy steered you through the last pair of hours. And now, it's my time. We are, we are in the range of 600 records. And it's a, uh, a ruthless, ruthless feeling. We have been live. This Facebook stream just kicked off. It's got a time limit of about four hours. So by the time this one it wraps up, We'll be looking to to the final count. Very much like election day. Very much like a grand final day. The Americans are call it a championship match. The Australians are call it battle for the premiership. If you're talking about netball or something like that. It's go time. Big time. <laughs> yeah. We've had people, we have had some people ordering us stuff, uh, friends. Uh, we had a pizza come yesterday. Which is very nice from from Mad Dog Anderson. I believe Ben Swanson had something sent out here. Did someone come, Roy? No, no knocks on the door. No. 
Thank you, Storming American. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks for being consistent. You guessed it, folks. Four hours to go on the Alcamathon. We are rounding the bend. Come on to the home straight. Ah, Swanson says, Postmates wasn't delivering at 4.30. Makes sense. Also makes sense they weren't delivering to the Rockaways at 4.30. Yeah. Sure, yeah. You ready? Yeah. This is a call for Roy Malmai from Casey. To accept this call, press one to Hey Casey. Hey Al Cam, good morning. How are you? I'm I'm very well. I'm very well, Casey. Uh, I had a I had a brief intermission. Dreamt of professional athletes and space travel. And now I'm back. Selling records online. It is excellent. Whereabouts are you? I'm I'm I see what's your I'm, I'm good. I'm on my way to work. Thought I'd give you a call. I was, I'm glad to see you boys are still going this morning. Got my final copy of Jumping the Shark yesterday. Was <sighs> spinning my copy of Force Witness last night. There you go, uh, Casey. To tell you, it's probably, uh, you got the whole collection. That's right. I uh, appreciated you and Roy both uh, signing my record in Cleveland when I brought it. That was that was wonderful. I also wanted to tell you, you know, I, I play in a band uh, with my father. All right. For father son act. Yeah. And uh, for his for his birthday, I got him a, a copy of Forced Witness. He loves getting CDs and having the physical copy of CDs. And we played it, listened to it on the way to a gig. And he turned and at the end of the record, he said to me, "I love every song on that record." And he's he's sixty seven years old, so so no the music it transcends generations. Man, what's well, what's the old man's name, Casey? What's that? What's your old man's name? Oh, his name is Steve. Steve. And, and you play in a band together. What, so what do you play? Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're called the Beach House Band. Uh, you know, my, uh, you know we, we basically play kind of whatever, whatever music we like to listen to. The gimmick is, you know, if we, if we play it on vacation in a beach house, we play it, you know, if it's, if it's kind of music that we enjoy and makes us happy so oh, uh, currently it. working on uh, working up a cover or running out of luck so we're, we're going to add that to our set no Let's shit see. well you got to send when, when you got a copy when you got a, like a version of that going and you're ready to crank it live you got to send us a copy to here or watch or something oh uh, definitely definitely do you do you like when people cover your songs very much i mean i i think like when I, when someone when someone like has a good cover version to go on of, of one of my tunes, it's like uh, it's very much like just it's like hearing it as if someone else wrote it. So it it, it provides it's a new context, and I, I always watch them. When people send them to me, I always watch them or I always listen to them. It's a it's a, it's a funny, it's a really like interesting thing to me. It's super endlessly entertaining, and uh, I get to hear the emotive quality of the songs that we play every night. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a big supporter of, uh, of people covering the songs. Great, excellent. It's, uh, I, I noticed on, uh, on your Twitter, you've got, uh, you're a fan of Bird Cloud. I see that they, they follow you. And, uh, Who's that? Jasmine from Bird Cloud follows you. There's a band called Bird Cloud, they're from Nashville. Oh, okay, oh, from Texas. Or from Nashville, from Tennessee. Yeah. 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 So I went to see them and met them uh, when they were out here in, in Cleveland. And, uh, you know, again, just, just these are the acts to support because they're, you know, you are the people kind of resurging the music industry, making the records that people want to buy. And, you know, 
you're responsible for the revival of vinyl as well, which I think is great. I'm a big vinyl advocate. You know, I think it's how, how music is meant to be heard. I mean, that's, I listen, especially when in this day and age, when it comes to our form, we, we, we make a record, we do really think about vinyl because that's how we like to present the record based on mm-hmm. our work, sound, the idea of actually being proud of having made something and, and hold it in your hands. You, got, you get my support oh, exactly. exactly all the way there, Casey. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's, 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 a, very, uh, it's a very visceral experience, vinyl. Like mm. you said, holding it in your hands, you know, the ritual of flipping it over side to side, hearing the music, how the artist intends to order in which they intend to do to hear it. Yeah. And in that way, you know, you're getting to know the records very intimately. You're getting to hear all the songs in order, a nice opening and closing of each side. And, you know, I think there's a misconception, too, with a lot of people that, that vinyl, you know, doesn't play as well or that it's difficult, you know, but these, these records, these record players that they make now, I mean, it's, it's crystal clear. They take beautiful care of the record. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got an audio technica myself, and uh, it sounds, sounds just as clear as if you're listening to a CD. I think it sounds better myself. So wow. I, think, uh, I think it's wonderful. Well, folks, what more, what more of, a, of an endorsement do you need? We got Casey. And, uh, you know, right I covered you. Uh, my friend at work played me the Chihuahua. That was the gateway drug. Oh, now, uh, definitely a, a lifelong fan. And I, I called him last night. You'll never believe it. Al Pan is doing a 24 hour live stream yeah. selling records. And he was like, I'm going to buy myself a physical copy. So we came back full circle. Named uh, Michael. And we call him Boozy. Well, Casey, Michael Boozy. Thanks for calling in, man. Thanks for being sweet. Thanks for taking the time. All right. Keep keep making your art. Have a great day. Appreciate you. We'll see you. We'll see you next time in Cleveland. All righty. Have a good one. Farewell. Ah. <sighs> It's, it moves you. People call in. They talk about how the music has impacted them, or the decisions they're making. Well, it moves you. Yeah. Staying hydrated. As we round the bend, two minutes to 8 a.m. here in New York. Time is constricting, expanding for our very eyes. We are into hour 20 in just two minutes. We have sold somewhere in the realm of 600 albums. Another phone call. You ready to take it? Yeah. This is a call for Roy Monley from Patrick. To accept this call, press one. Good morning, Patrick. Al, it's Pat. How's it going? It's go- It's going well. It's going well. We are one minute away from 8 a.m. here in New York. We've sold somewhere in the realm of 600 records, which means uh, we need to sell 100 albums. Man, you guys, are, you're on the home. St- we need to sell. You're on the home stretch into the 24 hours, but you, you know, still got to push hard for those last. Few yeah, we've got we've got to sell 100 records per hour for the next four hours. Um, it's it's over. I believe I, it's over an album. I believe in you guys. A minute. It's a it's a pretty decent click. I'm pretty sure it's the the pace uh, reserved for for major label artists, but we are trying to break into that. That click. <laughs> yeah, you guys were um, kind of. You guys are sailing in the dock there a few hours ago, but at least you're kind of getting some relatively frequent updates now. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. We're, the offices are, are opening up on the East Coast. Uh, we should have some album counts coming in. Uh, and I, and I'm, I'm hoping for the good news. Listen, if we can get up into the healthy 600s, then we're in with a fine chance. Man, I got my fingers crossed for you guys. I've been, um, I've been watching along pretty much all day here in Tokyo, and um, Tokyo, you, know, huh? you guys got a lot, of lot, lot of, yeah, you guys got a lot, a lot of love and support coming in from a lot of people from the states, which is good to see. A decent amount of people from Australia as well, and all over the place. So proud of you guys. I appreciate that, Pat. What are you doing in Tokyo? <laughs> Uh, I moved out of here about 18 months ago from Brisbane. Um, my girlfriend got a contract over here, so I moved over here with her. Wow. That's some kind of sacrifice. Whereabouts in Tokyo do you live? Uh, just like, just north of Shibuya. It's a place called Bum. So it's a quaint little suburb in, um, in central Tokyo. It's nice. Oh, man. Well, I mean, look. Tokyo, I, I've had a lot of fun in Tokyo, but I've never, I mean, I spent about a month there uh, in 2010. Uh, I got a, I got, I got a, my first ever credit card and, uh, and I went there to Tokyo. I took time off my, my job, which is a full-time job at the time. And I uh, went and put myself in the most amount of personal debt uh, I've ever found myself in. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a good place to come when you're, Got a fresh credit card and you're ready to spend some money without any um, immediate it was, repercussions. It was reckless. My spending was reckless. <laughs> um, but I, I, I came home and, and worked full time for another two years and, and through some good fortune managed to pay off the credit card. And, and I don't regret that trip to Tokyo at all. No, yeah. Well, you guys should come back and play some shows. I've, I've actually seen some people on... Um, Facebook and Instagram on the live feed this afternoon, <laughs> requesting shows in Japan. So, all right, seems like you've got at least at least a bit of an audience over here. Does that mean you've been you've been in in Tokyo for eighteen months straight? Do you go back to Australia at all? Um, I went back late last year for like my getting married and um, Christmas and all that kind of thing. So I went back for you know a little bit of a trip to catch up with some people. But yeah, I've been here back here since January or February. All right. Did you say there's a wedding on the way or you have, you have been married? Oh, no, I went back for my sister's wedding. Oh, for Christmas. a wedding. Oh, in, I, see. In, I see. In Brisbane. I see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, and have you managed to, did you have managed to buy a record the past 24 hours? Well, yeah, I had a look at the secretly Canadian website, but the, um, I think the delivery to Japan was a bit, Extra. So I, I I ended up buying a record, uh, the white, the limited edition white vinyl from um, Tower Records online. So I'm excited oh, to see that. Oh, well, I mean, in a listen, that definitely counts. We can add another one to the tally. There are some uh, yeah. extraneous album sales happening on other platforms that we can't monitor, um, but we do certainly appreciate well, the call. That's the thing. Yeah, I figured it might not pop up in the immediate tally, but at least there's some kind of you know, flow on effect. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, I mean, look, without hearing your phone call, without knowing about it firsthand, I wouldn't be able to say thank you. So I appreciate you calling in, Pat. Cheers, guys. All the best. All right. Take care now. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. We are in to the 20th hour. 8.04 a.m. On the Alcamathon. We're going to ride this one all the way home. The dire straits on the speaker. It's the Alcamathon 2018. 24 hours live online. It, it's a big deal. If we make this thousand. We will not only have our donation, our donation, our donations for meals on wheels in New York, but our friend Mac DeMarco 
has pledged to match Roy in the purchase of a sedan and go 50-50 with us in the business. Freeing up more funds to donate to Meals on Wheels and also just saying good on you for selling a thousand records. If we don't sell a thousand records, Mac DeMarco is going to spank myself and Roy with a belt on our bare backsides. Like a, a bunch of youngsters who wronged him. I don't want to do that. I don't even, I, I'm pretty sure Mac doesn't want to do that. Let's instead reach our goal of a thousand album sales in 24 hours. We have links pinned in the comment sections, Facebook, in the bio, on Instagram, and we've tweeted about it. The resources are there. All you gotta do is click the link, pick your platform. And let it rip. Such an odd feeling to be live online. To be feeling um, pretty ordinary. But be excited about what hopefully will be a positive outcome. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rearrange this a little bit. We have people tuning in from Barcelona. We have people tuning in. Tokyo. We are approaching the 600 album mark. I'm just going through comments trying to find out where we're at. Enthusiasm wise. <clears throat> For the home stretch of the outcome thought. We've we've spoken and interacted with thousands of you over the past twenty hours. Taking phone calls, invited you into the live conversation. We committed a few on Twitter, have been here. Facebook's been active. Instagram has been a hub of <laughs> hotness. I'm going to ride this one out, guys. Riding out here. Approaching. Approaching. 600 and something mark on album sales. We're waiting on an exact update. But the general consensus poll suggests we'll be approaching the 600 and something mark very soon. Waiting on that kind of confirmation. A lot of people will say 600 albums in 24 hours. That's an incredible feat. But it's not 1,000, is it? We're really trying to to push things very firmly towards that 1,000 mark. Uh, good morning from Chicago. You're in the home stretch. I want a link to buy, but I just went to a video. Where can I purchase? Little Olsen, thanks for writing. Uh, you can purchase by the link, my Instagram bio. Uh, 
it's alexcameron.ffm.to slash alcamathon. I don't expect you to remember that. But that's what the link looks like when you go and try and find it. Yeah. Live online. Feeling good, feeling fine. Someone writes, I just bought four fucking CDs. Are you me? <laughs> that sounds like the right kind of statement. Folks, we're in the ballpark of around 600 records. There is less than four hours to go. That means we need to sell around about 100 records an hour. It's not a, a small feat. It, it'll be uh, an achievement. If we do manage to accomplish this goal, it'll be on account of all you. Turned in, supported, took care of us, got us over the line. We do need to hit that thousand mark. So please, if you've been watching and you haven't clicked buy yet, stretch it now. Yeah. Matt, if you're if you're talking about going to a record store and, and buying the album, one hundred percent we support that. All I ask is that you record the process and, and put it on the internet. Create proof of your of your doing. Join the crew, join the story, join the action. Someone's asked, what is the history behind my lip scar? <laughs> um, I, was, I, was I was attacked by a dog when I was, a, when I was younger. Um, and it ripped my, it ripped my damn, um, almost ripped my damn lip off. You can see that? It's a farm dog, a cattle dog. And, uh, I was in the tray of a truck. We call it a ute in Australia. And uh, the animal, the name of Snowy, was a white dog, very talented cattle dog. Uh, bit me square in the face. Uh, I, I don't mind. I, I love dogs and cats. I'm not really. I don't have a preference. I guess it's like an individual animal basis. If the animals got the right vibe for me, then then I, I got no judgment. I like. I, I, could, I could probably get to get to like a spider if it was sweet. You're right. I am working on new material out here. It's kind of why we're out here. New music on the way. I would I would happily play you some of that new music, but we are here to sell records. And I'd be remiss to focus on the future. And we have a very important task at hand in the present. Folks, if you're looking to buy the record, look no further than the pinned comment in the comment sections. It's a link you can copy into your browser or click on, follow it, pick your album, choose it, buy it, wrap it up, send it out. A lot of questions coming in on the gram, which I appreciate dearly, uh, but I can't be answering all the questions without proof of you having purchased the record. So please do buy a copy of the album by the links in the comment sections or, or in the feed, and we can start talking answers. 
I can't just be answering questions. Unsolicited. It's not the transaction that we're dealing with here. We're dealing with album sales. We need a thousand of them. We're sitting somewhere in the 600 range and we need a push, so please. Send your energy, send your friends to the link. Did you buy the album? Oh, oh what? there we go. Roy and I met in around about 1994. Um, when Roy and his family moved in on the same street that, that I lived on. Um, I guess we were between five and six years old. It was time to be friends. Yes. It's the Alchemathon. We have 24 hours of live action. We are into the last four hours. And we are staying hot. Okay, we have sold 550 albums. We have less than four hours to go. We need to be selling an album a minute. You need to be buying multiples. I'm coming in now. Which side do you want? Oh uh, yeah, I'll go over here. I'm back, folks. Give my voice a brief rest. Drinking a little bit of Sweet Java, feeling super energized to sell a hundred records an hour for the next four hours. Get us to our goal of 1,000 records online in a 24 hour period. What a crazy feeling. What happens at a thousand? It's an interesting question, friend. We're gonna think of something special. Thank you for saying that. Is Jack Ladder really seven feet tall? <coughs> He's gotta be close, folks. That's just my impression. I'm not a very tall guy myself, so everyone, sometimes people seem seven feet tall to me when really they aren't. But I think Jack Ladder is actually pretty close to seven feet tall. Oh wait, we've got, a, we've got the answer here. He's six foot six. Six foot six. Lock it in, folks. Jack Larry is six foot six foot six foot six inches tall. We're here selling records, folks. We've got to stay focused on that. We uh, we need to sell a hundred records per hour for four hours. It seems it seems like a huge ask. Here we go, an inspiring story, a testimony from Marie Delcos. I'm broke and semi-jobless, but bought a CD this morning anyways. I then got offered two different job interviews only a few hours later. Tell me this isn't a coincidence. Folks, that doesn't sound like a coincidence to me. That sounds like, that sounds like Marie making good decisions. That's step one. She's made the decision to purchase a, a CD despite her financial situation. That's showing high-level thinking. I don't know if it's the karma that that generated, if it's the fact that she's putting that energy under the world, but within the next few hours, she receives job interview, offers for job interviews. This is what we're talking about, folks. You doing stuff for us, which does stuff for you. Generating decision-making energy <clears throat> and sales for us of records is going to affect your life positively. I don't know much, but I know that for sure. <laughs> So take Marie's example and purchase a CD record 
or take today. We got four hours to sell many hundreds of records. The sun is coming up here in the Rockaways. It is 8.20 a.m. in New York. We got four hours to go, folks. Three hours and 40 minutes, if I'm being accurate. And we need to sell a lot of records. We need to double the amount of records we've sold up to this point in a quarter of the time that we've been online. Folks, it's, it's, time, it's time to come through for us. It's time to make very fast decisions. Be like Marie, purchase the record. Purchase a cassette, it's 10 bucks. Purchase a couple of cassettes. That's a couple of units for us. That's pumping those numbers up and it's doing something good for yourself coming into the Christmas season in terms of gift giving and in terms of generating positive energy that may result in you getting job offers. That's based off what Marie told me. Says where? Good to hear from you, girl. Uh, talking to us about shirts, two Alcam shirts, one Jack Ladder shirt, one Roy Squad badge, and we put she's purchased a Roy Squad badge for a friend who's then gone on to buy another shirt. Those are super huge merch numbers, folks. We're not measuring those sales right now. We're measuring album sales. That's what we're trying to crack the ton on. Not the ton, the, the century. Century? We're trying to sell a thousand records. Alex is just around the corner. He's in the bathroom blowing his nose and he'll be right back. Louise has heard the news that Mac is going to whip us with a belt on our bare asses if we don't reach a thousand records. Louise, thanks for writing. You're right. We're at risk of getting our asses smacked by a, by a fellow musician if we don't hit the a thousand records. If we do, he's going to go halvesies with me and our cam and buying a sedan for the crew to drive around in. The stakes are through the roof. They were already high. Pride was on the line. Now our bare asses and half a sedan are riding on you, you and you's willingness to purchase, purchase records in a way that isn't conventional right now, you know? People aren't buying mechanical albums, and we need you to, to the tune of a thousand albums right now. We're getting story requests from Sweden. Folks, if that is an interesting story, Alex, tell us a story when Roy threw a guy out from a concert in Sweden. You come through and show us that you've bought a record, and we're gonna tell you that story, I can guarantee it. Roy, I already own both albums on CD. What can I do? Seth Hayes, you can buy a cassette or a CD for a friend or colleague coming into the holiday seasons, the Christmas season. It's a very big gift giving time of year. You can buy another CD for yourself. You can go on over to my Twitter page and visit a GoFundMe to buy me a sedan and to give $1,000 to Meals on Wheels. You can visit various other charities pinned to our various feeds and donate there. We got stuff. If you want to do something with your money, you've already made that decision to do something with the money. Casey, it's time to do something with, with your money. Sorry, Seth. It's on the line, folks. Our bear ass is getting smacked if we fail. Half a sedan getting bored if we succeed. As well as the personal pride of having said that you will sell a thousand records in 24 hours and then achieving that goal. This is not meaningless, folks. This is deeply, deeply meaningful. We are still here saving the record industry, trying desperately to sell a thousand records in 24 hours, three and a half hours left. I don't know what the album counts at. If someone had seen 550, Jesus Christ, we got to pick it up, folks. We need you buying multiple records each. We need to double. We need to. It's double or nothing time. I'm not joking. We need to get across the line here. It seems like an insurmountable task, but that doesn't mean that you don't give it a red hot go. Folks, if you're thinking about buying a record, tune in now. Give us a call. We're taking calls online at 888 591 Ashley Camilleri, how much time left here live? I didn't buy the record, but I've seen you twice in Melbs. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for coming to those shows. We love playing shows in Melbourne. We're live online for another three and a half hours. You still have three and a half hours 
to buy the record online. The link is at the top of the feed. If you're on Facebook, I can see it's at the top of the feed. Click that link. Make a strong decision. Buy a cassette, buy a CD, buy a vinyl today. And we'll see you soon in Melbourne. Melbourne, I guess. That's all I've got to say for you, Ashton. There we go. Vanilla Cola on the gram just bought two. We've got two more record sales processing from our friend. We've got Alcan back in the hot seat. Ready to sell. We're ready to push across the, across the line here. A late game effort. Requests for a store review. I'll point out I'm not sitting on a stool, but if you can prove to me CD74 on Instagram that you've bought a record, I'll go and find a stool and I'll review it for you. I'll send you a private store review if you want. Buy a record. We're getting a lot of questions in the inbox. I love it. Stay interacting. More importantly, stay purchasing records and then you'll get the answers that you see. And thanks for all the kind ones. We've got a testimony here from Will Fabiano on Facebook. The blue swell vinyl is so cool. That's a concise description of the experience of opening our Blue Swell edition of our records. Folks, be like Will Fabiano. Order a record from Bandcamp or Secretly Canadian. Experience the Blue Swell vinyl today. That's a spicy comment on Facebook. We look defeated. Do we feel defeated? Hell no. There's still three and a half hours left in the Alcamathon, ladies and gentlemen. We have 550 record sales. It does seem like a long shot to get to a thousand, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to keep encouraging you to buy records and keep your eyes peeled on the horizon for what was described earlier as a New York miracle. Will Fabiano just copped two finals. Flying in the face of James Hughes' bleak assessment, the very next comment, Will Fabiano buys two records. James Hughes, what I want to say to you on the Facebook is what are you doing about it? You know? Making observations about what we look like? No one's interested in that, Jim. Tell us about the record purchases that you've made today. That's what people want to hear about. And I'm looking forward to hearing about it from you. We are still taking calls. We need hot energy from the fan base. We need to hear about record purchases and how good you're feeling about the Alcamathon. Give us a call now, 888-554-9991. We're feeling good as shit out here and we're glad to be online with y'all. Waiting for a call. James Hughes, I've got a record, a record. James, I don't want to come down hard on you, my friend, but we have two records available on the market right now on various formats, vinyl, CD, tape. If you're going to throw barbs like that, friend, you're going to want to come through with some serious purchases. I respect that you have one record, it's time to get another. That's my assessment of the situation. <clears throat> hey, Capon. You down at the warehouse? Let's go. I'm gonna go live and see if we can get online. Folks, we're gonna live feed. Hopefully, oh, no, a live no, feed no. at the warehouse. Okay. We're working on getting live footage at the warehouse, where we assume that the things are reaching a fever pitch. Fever issue is one way to describe the vibe in our lounge room right now. 
We've both been online for a long time. We're doing it to sell records. <clears throat> Movies, music and me. I do remember meeting you in that alleyway in Perth. Talk to me about buying records. That's got to be the focus right now, folks. We can talk about all and sundry later on. Or now. But we do have to stay focused on selling records. We have to sell a crazy amount of records in the next three hours to avoid an ass spanking from Mac. And, uh, and to preserve our, you know, our public image. We made a promise that we would sell a thousand records. We want to strive to achieve that. We got a call. On. This is a call for Roy Molly from <clears throat> Katie. Katie. To accept it. Sounds promising. Hello? Katie, it's Roy and Al. Are you there? Hi, I am. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good. What you got. Yeah, good morning. I'm just waking. I was watching you guys last night and woke up this morning and figured out where you guys were. Thanks for sticking with and us. And I have, I bought, yeah, absolutely. I bought two CDs last night. I already, when I saw you guys in January, I had your, I bought your vinyl. So I have two vinyls and I've got two CDs on the way. Nice. Very excited. That's a yeah. thing. Thank you for that. That's a beautiful thing. And thank you for calling us. Absolutely. I just want to say, keep it up. You guys, are doing, <laughs> it's entertaining. And you guys, I really hope you guys make, make a, a thousand. We're going to, we're going to look, we've got, it's a, we're a long way off right now, but I think that if we, we're just going to, we're just going to keep pushing. We've got three and a half hours left. I think it's, yeah. We've got to sell 400 it's records. Good no matter what you do, it's not going to be a failure or anything if you don't make a thousand, but you know, keep pushing on. You guys are doing great. But sweetie. Yeah. Powering through the tired system. Yeah. It's awesome. We're pushing. I mean, I guess we're probably, we, uh, I wonder if we're number one on Bandcamp charts at the moment. I want to see those Bandcamp numbers for sure. Oh, oh that's good. Bandcamp. If you look at, if you're just tuning in and you're looking at, we're going to buy a record. Katie, why don't you tell everyone about how you bought, actually bought the record? Talk to us about the process. Absolutely. So there's a pinned link, either if you're on going to Facebook or Twitter, there's that pinned link and you just click on that link and there's two options for which, um, however you want to buy it. And I don't think it matters which one it is. And so you click 